Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm Geek Girl Claire, here again for another unboxing video. Now, this is the first time I've ever purchased something called Board Game Bento. So, yeah, see this? This is like a box of board games every month. It's pretty cool. And we see on the cover here our two favorite Star Trek characters, Jean-Luc Picard, I think, and Spock playing a game of this three-dimensional chess. Pretty cool. And then on this side, we have something with a, like a Dungeons & Dragons kind of motif. Yeah. And then we have a Monopoly guy on this side. And, ooh, I don't know what this is. Is it Pictionary? Something like that. Yeah, pretty cool. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Now, I've never had a board game bento before. So let's see what could be in this month's board game bento. So this is for, I believe it's the April one. April 2017. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there's a lot of tape on this. So it requires some extra cuts with my keys. And yes, you can use keys to open a box that's taped down. Yeah, these are great. Very, very sharp. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. So we got some air cooking in here. So every box is supposed to have like full size, a full size game, a smaller game, and maybe some card sets. So I see here there's a card, and, and uh, this month's board game bento has a the theme is Cthulhu. Now I don't know about you, but I think Cthulhu is really cool because that was like one of the first boxes I got from from uh, the horror block that I subscribed to. It had Cthulhu as a little stuffed animal in there, and I got several Cthulhu mementos over the years. So pretty cool. So what do we have here? We have Cthulhu's Vault. It looks like a creative storytelling game set in the world of H.P. Lovecraft. So it's a card and dice game, it looks like. Very cool. I think I might even play that, too. Neat. A creative storytelling game set in the world of H.P. Lovecraft. It says here, aliens from Pluto, mystical forces, the invisible beings which your subconscious senses and keeps you afraid of basements and bumps in the night. These are yours with Cthulhu's Vault, a storytelling game where players cooperate to create a classic horror story of men and women who slowly reveal horrors which no man should know. And when that horror is revealed, whether Hastur Cthulhu or Dread Narlathep, a, what? <laughs> a second story will be told, the story of the fight to drive the evil back to its own world or dimension so that humanity may continue through at least one more day. Pretty cool. So what else is in here? We've got here the three-headed monster. Something Cthulhu-like. It's like that three-headed uh, beast that Godzilla fought back in the day. So it says here, you monster, you are one head of a very indecisive beast. Should you rampage through the countryside or contemplate a more peaceful existence? Unfortunately, your preference may clash with those of the other heads. What a weird game. A card game by Trevor Cram. Evacuate monster rampages. Huh. Now what the heck is this? Monsters. Ginger dead house. Gingerbread sheriff. Once per turn, gingerbread sheriff may banish one resurrection monster in any field. So it's some little game in here, too. Gingerbread sheriff. And you get a little thing, a trinket. It's a little Cthulhu wooden thing. So I don't know if you know this about, like, the Japanese candies that I had before. But there were these little Japanese candies I had. They were like little butter toffees. And they came with little toys. And they were all made of wood. And this is what this is. This is a little thing that's painted. It's like a little piece of wood. And it's painted with Cthulhu on both sides. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now last but not least, the final item in our Cthulhu box. Gingerbread House, and that's probably where this, this was probably like an expansion or a special set of cards that you can play with this. A Grim Tower Defense board game. I love tower defense games. So I wonder if this will be just as fun as like tower defense apps. Probably. So yeah, it's a full-size game. 
It says, you're a venture ahead. So you, be, you, you bought a gingerbread house in the middle of an enchanted forest because you were assured that it would be a wise investment. Maybe next time, instead of being mesmerized by the seller's gold-plated business card, you might want to be more careful and pay attention to things like, I don't know, names? Rumpelstiltskin. Good job. Well, now what? You need to find a way to protect your property against hordes of witches, ogres, trolls, and a mob of other monsters who want nothing more than to destroy your delicious new home. Monsters may not be the most frightening foes you face, though, as your neighbors will do whatever they can to protect their own home at all costs. When the smoke settles, will it be your house still standing? So game contents. There are a total of 205 cards included in your copy of Gingerbread House. These cards are broken into three categories. There's a one-player deck that has 100 cards, one action deck of 25 cards, and one monster deck of 80 cards. There are also four boards that are included in the game, one for each player. The board is your field. Defense and monster cards will be placed on this field and will interact there. While each field is your own, many cards do allow for interaction with your opponent's field. Pretty cool. Wow, I think I can't wait to play this. This is kind of neat. It says here it's 30 to 45 minutes and two to four players for ages 12 and up. So I think my kids will love this. We'll play it together. Yeah. So that's it. That's all that's inside. The board game Bento Games is a lot of stuff. I don't know what this has to do. Like, I don't know how this has to do with Cthulhu. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool anyway. So, yeah, what, what is the reasoning here as to why they put things in this, right? It's, it's like really weird. Why do they say that this is Cthulhu? I don't know. It says includes the walking bread micro expansion normally exclusive to conventions. So that's pretty cool. Still has nothing to do with Cthulhu. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't. It's like weird. So, anyway, I, I think they try to make things, like, they try to fit things in with the theme, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I hope to play these games soon. I think that um, as a first box, it's cool. It's not super cool, but it's cool. So I would give this um, a solid B+. And, yeah, I hope that uh, you found this video interesting. I hope you've um, learned some things about board game Bento. And, and what's inside the board game bento boxes. So if you like this video, then slam the like button and subscribe to my videos. And you will get honest opinions on all of these subscription boxes and various things in my life. So yeah, until next month, everybody. See ya. Bye.